Hey, this is for my week one breakdown. Um, I started off by scaling the model. Uh, it was initially two inches tall and that didn't seem right to me for a fairy, so I scaled it up to be about five inches. Um, the scene didn't have any mental ray nodes, so I took that to mean that the scene was clean. I organized the outliner into different groups. Um, as you can see, um, and then I didn't see any issues with the normals. And so then I began to move on to the joint placement. Um, I have six joints going throughout the back. And they're kind of curved along. Um, I tried to place them as close as I could to the to where the center would be. Um, I then have the neck joint and the head joint. I have the clavicles, I have the arm joints, the arm, the elbow, and then going out into the hand, and then I have the hand joint. I have the thumb pivot and then the binding joints in the thumb, and then I have the four joints in each of the fingers. I made sure that all the values were clean and I made sure that the orientations um, looked correct to me. Um, let's see this is the orientations right here. Um, Z's forward and then on the left side, Y is up, and on the right side, Y is down, so the right and left side are just inverse each other. Um, and that's what the orientation looks like. I uh, made sure that my naming um, I was using the naming convention that we used in CRI um, have everything broken up um, so I'll have the pad the the binding and the waist um, the left and everything's left right center um, and then um, numbered Um, I went on to do the proxy geometry, um, which is this. I never did this in the CRI class, but uh, since I chose this as my discipline, um, I hope I did okay with the the um, proxy geometry. Um, so if I um, I don't have any controls set up currently, but if I move the joints, you can see. Um, geometry where I cut the geometry and here's the elbow and Here's the fingers. Um, I didn't make any joints for the wings. Um, I thought that maybe that would be something that I would want to do maybe at the end. Um, if I have the time to do it, uh, I think I would like to do that. Um, and so that's kind of a basic overview of what my proxy geometry looks like.
Um, after that, I started to place some of the controls. Um, so I have a box for the head, I have arrows for the shoulders, arrows for the elbows, and then circles throughout the, the, the back, and this is what I did for the cog, and the hips, and arrows for the knees. Um, I want to to orient these hand um, controls to be in line with the joints, so that's something that I still need to do. I also um, want to create the the foot controls, um, so that's kind of where I am currently um, for my progress, and I appreciate any feedback. Thanks.